Are there significant nutritional differences in between bone broth and collagen peptides? Yeah, so significant, I don't I don't know if it's significant. Um, the main thing that you're getting in bone broth and collagen peptides is collagen. So collagen is mainly made up of uh, glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline, those three amino acids. And it's actually the proline hydroxyproline dipeptide, whether that's the result of your digestion or the result of the enzymatic breakdown of collagen to make collagen peptides. It's that dipeptide that is absorbed together, proline hydroxyproline, that seems to um, be a really important signaling molecule for stimulating collagen synthesis inside us. It's that plus like the raw materials of the amino acids that seems to be uh, beneficial for skin, for joint health, uh, some, some research showing that it can uh, help to build muscle, right? Like, you know, there's, there's some good research uh, showing that that's quality protein. So the main difference is bone broth has more tryptophan. Collagen peptides has no tryptophan just because it's more, it's more pure, right? So it's more purely just collagen, whereas bone broth has some other proteins in it. Um, so that makes collagen peptides an incomplete protein and bone broth a borderline. It's not really enough tryptophan, a fully account as a complete protein, but it's closer. And then depending on uh, how the bone broth was made, you also get some mineral content. So especially if it's a long simmered bone broth where the bones, you know, had lots of opportunity to dissolve into the broth and they're really crumbly on the other side, that can have some mineral content. Whether or not that's significant, I think is, that's hard to say. Like it's not a lot of minerals, right? It, you know, it's, it's I you know, I think any any place that we can get more nutrients for the same thing is valuable, but those are all minerals that you can get easily from other foods. And, you know, if you're eating a mainly whole foods diet, you're not, you know, it's going to be fine. You're going to, you're going to be getting enough of those. Um, so yeah, so there are some, those are the slight nutritional differences. Um, and then there's nutritional differences in bone broth based on what types of bones were used, how long it was simmered. And it's highly variable. Highly, highly, highly variable. In a homemade bone broth, you're getting anywhere between one or two grams of protein per cup to 20 grams of protein per cup, right? Like just, it's it's really dependent on, on how you make it. Uh, whereas collagen peptides are, you know, industrially produced, right? So the, it's it's very predictable exactly what you're getting. So they're both good. I think the main good thing that they have is this, this cool dipeptide, the proline hydroxyproline. Um, and, you know, it can help reach your protein goals. I love putting a scoop of collagen peptides into my coffee in the morning. My coffee tastes exactly the same. Uh, and uh, there's 10 extra grams of protein that I wasn't going to get. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of both, actually. Uh, I use bone broth. Uh, I make my own homemade and I, I use it in cooking all the time. So I think they both have a role to play and it's really like what's more convenient for you.